Welcome to free energy and the equilibrium constant. We're going to harken back to unit one and talk about Gibbs, Gibbs free energy, and how does that relate to K. So we know already that if we're at equilibrium, then Gibbs is going to equal zero. And we know if we're at equilibrium, we can write a KEQ expression. Now, when you see that standard sign, that means that Gibbs is under standard conditions, and those conditions have to be a pure substance at one molar concentration, at one atmosphere, and at 298 Kelvin. That, if that is true, and we're under standard conditions, and we're at equilibrium, then Gibbs equals RT natural log of K, meaning um, the gas law constant times temperature um, and and then the natural log of our uh, equilibrium expression constant. Let's talk about R for a second. Which R are we going to use? We know that before when we were using the curtain equation, I'm oh, sorry, I thought it was whenever we were using curtain equation, then we use the atmospheres for R. But in this case, we're not going to use atmospheres because Gibbs has what kind of unit? Joules. So we need our R to be the R for joules. And the R for joules is 8.31 joules per mole Kelvin. So therefore, um, the temperature, as always, has to be in Kelvin. So this is R. Temperature has to be in Kelvin. And we already know that K has no units. So then the Kelvin will cancel out with Kelvin, and we'll get joules per mole, which is what we want for Gibbs. So that equation is great if we're under standard conditions. Most of the time, we're not, um, I'm sorry. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. And if we're understanding conditions, we're going to get a number for Gibbs. We already know that if Gibbs is negative, then we are um, uh, in a spontaneous reaction, meaning spontaneous going forward. And so then K is going to be greater than 1. And we talked about what that means like at the beginning of this unit, because that means that the equilibrium lies to the right. right. Or we could say that that means it's favoring the products. So we are, we are heading in the forward direction. If Gibbs winds up being positive, then we know that our K is less than 1. And so the equilibrium shifts left. Or we are favoring our reactants. And if Gibbs equals 0, then K is equal to 1. And then the reactants and products are equal. So we can, if we know what Gibbs is, we can compare it to what K is. Or if we know what K is, we know what sine Gibbs is. And so that was an excellent no calculator kind of question for this information. How do you compare Gibbs to K? If you know one, you should be able to figure out the other. Now, the other one has to do with the calculator. Like I said before, generally speaking, we're not under standard conditions. So to get to standard conditions, if we're not under standard conditions, we have Gibbs with no standard conditions, uh, no free sign there. So that is Gibbs under standard conditions plus RT ln. Now we can't say K because we're not at equilibrium. So as you know in your class, it's not going to be Q. But it's calculated the same way, products over reactants. So we have to take um, the same R and, and T as before, the 8.31 for R and the Kelvin for, for um, T. But then we're going to calculate Q, but then we have to add that to our standard Gibbs. Where do we get standard Gibbs from? Well, we can get it from places like Appendix C. If you remember Appendix C from Unit 1. So that means I look up my values for Gibbs on the Appendix C chart, and I subtract products minus reactants, and I can find Gibbs for the reaction. So if we can do that, and we know our temperature, and we know our concentrations of products and reactants, we can figure out what the Gibbs is at this moment of the reaction. And again, we have the same sort of information here. So if that Gibbs winds up being negative, then our reaction is proceeding forward to get to equilibrium. If that gives one being positive, then our reaction is proceeding in reverse to get to equilibrium. And if that gives one of being zero, then we're at equilibrium. And so it's Q, this could have been K. And that's how we uh, relate free energy to Gibbs, uh, free energy to uh, equilibrium constant.